protect your innate and workflow with this video. Because when you're using a webhook trigger and if anyone has this test URL, they can hit and start the workflow. And if you're using any kind of AI, then obviously this will cost you money. So strengthen your workflow with the type of authentication you have in the webhook trigger. Here you can see we can add the authentication like basic header and JWT auth. We're going to talk about each and every authentication system. So let's start this. So this is the very simple workflow. We have a webhook which is going to respond on the respond to webhook node which is this one okay and then in between we have this ai agent which is going to reply to the query of the user and here on the webhook we send the query here we are having this test url if you are making this workflow active then you can use the production url but for now let's use the test url and we need to start the workflow so that means it is a start to listen on the webhook hit. So we just need to hit on this with a post request. So let's open this postman and choose the post request, hit this URL, just hit send. And since we are not providing any kind of query, you can see AI is responding. I'll be happy to help you. And the workflow is triggered. You can see the green check mark. Cool. This is good. But what if we can ask something? So on this body form, we can provide the query and then query is who are you and if i send it you can see this workflow is done and now it says i am claude cool so this is working very fine without any authentication let's add the authentication for basic auth now when i say basic auth we need to choose the credential for it let's create a new credential and we are calling it user as test and password is also test so basic auth means providing the username and password so both are test and test so now if i go on the postman hit send you can see it says the trigger workflow Oops, so i need to start the workflow now if i send it again you can see it says authorization is required now since we have not provided any basic auth we are getting this so let's go to the authorization section choose the basic auth test test and hit send and this time you will see that we will going to get the answer which is really nice so this is the first way of adding the authentication to your workflow and protecting it second we can see we have the header auth now in the header auth we are going to send some kind of token in the header so let's create one the name of the header let's say x api key anything you want and my secret key save this and start listening and now since we have changed the authentication system basic auth will not going to work now if i send it says authorization data is wrong so what we will do we are going to first say this is a no authentication and on the headers we just say x api key is my secret key and now if i send you can see it's doing something and very soon we get the response wow this is very very nice but the last one is important and a little tricky so we have this jwt auth now if you don't know about the jwt it's called json web token which is having all the information packed in a encrypted token so i just search for jwt and i get this website jwt.io and here you can see we have this kind of token which is including different different sections so see green white purple and every section is having some information and what are the information we have first you can see we have the header and algorithm hs256 type is jwt and then in the payload you can add anything so let's say i'm sending here sarthak oops can i edit it oh i cannot it's just uh, testing okay so here it's having this when you create your own jwt yes you can do that 
and you can add a user id is admin whatever you want for the identification of the user and accordingly since you know the user is there you can redirect user to different different section of your workflow by checking the user how we will going to do this i'm going to show you so first of all here you can see this is a secret valid secret now every jwt is created or encrypted using a secret key and this key is also used for the decryption that means getting the data back so we need this secret key and when we are going to add the jwt here we create new jwt credential we need to provide the secret which is this and remember the algorithm we have defined here and this is just a passphrase now hit save and we are good to go so let's go and execute this try to send the request and you can see now it says no token provided obviously we have moved from the header token we are not using the basic auth token so let's just remove this header token and instead of that we can go on the authorization and go with the bearer token copy this jwt which we have paste it and now see if i hit it it's again going to give me the response hello i'm claude wow that's really nice but let's go on the any10 and see what happened when we open the webhook on the right side you can see we have provided authorization bearer and the token but then if you scroll down yep jwt payload and here we have the sub name admin or any other information which you want to provide for the identification of the user or basically the authentication system so this is the three different way of adding the authentication in your workflow now question comes how you will going to create the jwt token header auth or username password again since you are using the any10 you can create another workflow which is going to generate the jwt token for you this can be the part of your system which can read from the database and validate the token or username or user id everything for you there are a lot of ways to create these things but the goal of this video was to introduce you with the authentication on the webhook if you have any question about anything related to any ten let me know in the comment section but wait if you want to know more about the any 10 how you can create the workflow how you can deploy how you can use it on local check out the video you see here because it's going to be helpful see you in the next video till then goodbye